Hi, I'm Caleb. I used to work for one of the largest communication companies in the world. Um, I started right out of high school when I was 18. I was a level 4 tech and I was the youngest in my field. Um, able to access information from anywhere and yep, I'm a cancer survivor. So when I say I can access information from anywhere, I mean I can access anything. Literally map overlays, uh, satellite imagery, and I can make columns work with anyone, anywhere. So I am a hardware software techie guy, kind of like MacGyver, take that technology, make all the software and hardware work together. I uh, analyze the video and audio files, um, and I basically take all the technology and make the ones and zeros work together. There's not enough excitement in the world, Paul. How many times I got to tell you this? <laughs> okay, we got a lot of ground to cover here today, so... I was, uh, I was drawn to this book, so I went over to it, and I saw the title, and it was The UFO Phenomena by Edward Ashpole. That was the day my life changed. Probably pretty much not any famous, well-documented UFO incident that I couldn't tell you about in great detail. And uh, abduction cases as well, I'm very familiar with the works of Bud Hopkins, John Mack, you know, I, this stuff is real and it's going down and people need to know about it. And going on from abduction, that's moving on to really how I got to know Nick Pope. Don't get me wrong, nothing's ever happened to me. God knows, as much as I wish it would do, these guys don't even know how lucky they are, I'm telling you. You know, chit-chatting about UFOs, as per usual. And um, it's pretty much all I talk about, to be honest. It's not uh, a matter of believing it. We know they're there. We know we know these things are real and they exist, but we just don't know what they are. Well, I'm sure there's people who do know what they are, but they're not going to let that information out to us right now or anytime soon. I did warn you, Raph, I'm going to start dragging this thing out. Once you get me talking, there ain't no stopping me. But anyway, you know, like Alexander the Great, you know, when, um, when he saw those things that he described as being like silvery shields coming out of the water, that changed his life forever. God, I mean, I'm not going to start listing all the people, you know, famous people that have had UFO encounters, you know, historical legends that have had UFO encounters. We won't even go down that road. We'll be here all day. Well, guys, I've got to go. Level, we're really getting somewhere here, and I don't want to stop the flow, but I've got a knock at the door. I think it's a delivery.